Okay, we're recording, and hopefully I can kind of figure out what I'm doing here. What we're going to do is attempt to do a receiver comparison between a brand new Elecraft KX3 on the left and a somewhat long in the tooth F Yesu FT817 on the right. Um, we've got both of the radios connected to the same power supply, which in this case is an LIFE 6.6 uh, .6 amp hour battery. Uh, they're both connected to the same antenna through this uh, Daiwa two-position antenna switch. And that antenna is a stepper three-element beam at about 50 feet. We're trying to level the playing field as much as we can between the two of them. We're going to do this test on 20 meters CW. Uh, I chose CW because the Yesu does have a CW filter in it, so if it is going to come close to the KX3, at least that will give it somewhat of a chance. Uh, the KX3 bandwidth is set to 400 hertz, the same as the crystal filter that's in the 817. And I think that about the, there is no antenna tuner in the Yesu, so the antenna tuner in the Elecraft has been bypassed. So we don't give it an advantage with having a somewhat better tuned antenna, although with the stepper it should be reasonably well tuned to begin with. Our goal here is to try to find a weak signal on one rig and then see if we can copy it on the other and then vice versa. Don't know if we'll be able to do that tonight, uh, but we'll see what it turns up. So here we go. Uh, we'll do a strong signal first. Uh, we're on 14.059 and that, that's a, an S9 signal, maybe S9+. Plus. And we'll tune the rigs to about the same and then we'll do the antenna switch. The Elecraft does not have the audio power that the Yesu has, so take that into account when you're doing this. The Yesu can punch out the audio better, but on headphones the Elecraft is, is just fine. So, there is a slight difference in frequency between the two of them, but they're both showing an S9 signal. And it sounds pretty good. So now we'll dial around and see if we can find a weak one on the Elecraft. Somebody calling CQ. That's about an S5. But it's starting, you're starting to hear some noise in there. 1404877. And of course they stopped sending. Or did they? There is somebody in there. I don't know if you can copy that, but it is copyable here. And we're really not hearing it on the Yesu. There it is. turning it back and forth to each other pretty quickly. See if we can find a little longer term and Okay, there's the guy answering. No S meter reading on the ASU. 
L8, Uzbekistan, on 20 meters, CW. Sorry about that. Okay, noise reduction was on on the KX3. I just turned that off. Eight seventeen. Ella Craft. I think that we can pretty much say the KX three is the winner on that signal. Although it is still copyable in the ASU, it certainly isn't in the same ballpark. Uh, it's, and they very quickly. But I think overall we would give advantage Ella Craft on that signal. Let's see if we can find another one. That's too strong. We're looking for weak ones. That's not a weak one. Let's go down to the... One thing we're not going to be able to, to do here is think of these things in a high density contest situation that's certainly not happening tonight. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind that the KX3 will outperform the, the ASU in those conditions. But you know most of the time we're using these radios portable or up on a mountaintop and it's usually not a problem of having way too many signals although I've been on mountaintops and the interference from other services up there has been uh, brutal. I'll try to edit this video, but I can't say that that's ever going to happen. This is a pretty strong signal. That one disappeared. 